If you love biological sciences and wish to pursue a career in research or academia, you will find a host of exams like NET, GATE, ICMR, DBT, IIT JAM and such in standing between you and your dream career. Pathfinder publications can help you to ace this examination through their books and preparation materials which have been specifically designed for these examinations. Hello, I am Atri Mukherjee. I have completed my bachelor's and master's in biochemistry from University of Calcutta and today I will be talking about the range of books from Pathfinder publications that will help you to ace these examinations because the books have been created keeping in mind the needs of such students. They will not only help you to clear the examinations but also give you a very good conceptual base which is needed to clear the interviews for PhD positions in various universities. So today let us talk about the book of Life Sciences by Pathfinder Publication. The eighth edition of this book has been written by Mr. Pranav Kumar and Ms. Usha Mina. The most important attribute of this book is its focus on the fundamentals. The book ensures that all the concepts that you need are built from ground up so that you don't have to worry about the kind of questions that are going to come in examinations. As you can see, the book covers all the topics that can be found in the life sciences category so you can understand life sciences as a whole and not as separate topics. The book also has expanded and updated coverage of all topics keeping in mind the recent advances in biological sciences. We at Pathfinder Publications think that good illustrations can be the difference between understanding a topic well and understanding it on a shallow basis. The book has beautiful illustrations and the texts have been very well integrated into the illustrations and only the important points have been mentioned so that the diagrams are clear and easy to understand. You will also find the summary of each and every chapter in the book so that it is very easy to understand and recall when you are preparing for the examination. All the important concepts have been described in the form of flowcharts. So for any person who is preparing for examination, it is very helpful to see the process happen in a linear order before the examinations. It is very easy to just go through the flowchart and understand what the concept is all about. The books also integrates various descriptive texts in table formats. You don't have to go through big passages. You can just look at the tables. You can just look at the flowcharts and all the concepts will be clear to you. You will be able to recall them very easily. Now, one feature which I personally like a lot in this book are the boxes which contain extra information for curious students. And these boxes uh, take the students to areas beyond the basics and is very important for those people who want to learn more. The book also comes with various problems in between the concepts and it, the book teaches you how to solve the problems instead of just memorization, which I find very, very useful for competitive examinations. Lastly, each chapter at the end has a list of questions and practice materials and answers which can be used to evaluate how much you have learned from the chapter. So all these features make the book very, very interesting and a must have for all aspirants. Let me show you a few questions that have been asked in the February 2022 net examination. So from unit one, there were a total of 10 questions uh, covering part B and C. And uh, let's see how many questions were from the book. So the first question uh, based on competitive inhibition, the answer to this question can be easily found from the book one of life sciences. The table as you can see clearly mentions the answer that has been asked. The next question is about 
enzyme kinetics, Michaelis maintain constant. And the concept of KM has been clearly elaborated in this book. This question, which is based on hemoglobin and how it carries carbon dioxide and oxygen in blood, is all, has also been covered in great details in Life Sciences book. So this one question is about various protein cleaving reagents. And as you can see, the book has a table listing all of the enzymes and the places where they cleave the proteins with a diagram in a very clean fashion. This question about oxygen dissociation curve has been covered in the book, as you can see. All the details of the curve, uh, all the properties have been discussed very well. This question about iron sulfide clusters and prosthetic groups has also been covered very nicely in an elaborate fashion in the book. And the concept has been summarized into a table so that you can easily recall the information before an examination. Next is the question based on the PKA of the side chains of amino acids. And as you can see, the details have been covered in the book. Let us now look into the questions from unit three, that is fundamental processes that has been covered in this book. So this question about tRNA in bacteria, as you can see, it has been covered and it has been elaborately uh, mentioned in the part two of life sciences book. This question about the difference between direct repair and base excision repair has also been beautifully covered in the part two of life sciences book. All you have to do is go through the book clearly and read all of the concepts, understand them thoroughly. This question about the lambda infection cycle has again been covered and you can find a beautiful diagram explaining the concept of lambda infection cycle in the part two of the book. This next question about imprinting in the human genome has been covered in great details in the part two of the book and all the information you need to know about imprinting which is relevant for the examination has been covered. So you don't need to worry about any of the questions that are there in the exam. One thing that you have to understand is that CSIR gives you 75 questions to answer, but you only have to answer 25 questions out of these 75 questions. No book can have all the 75 questions covered, but if you read the fundamentals of life sciences part one and two very well, you will definitely be able to answer 25 of those 75 questions. So I hope you purchase your copy of Life Sciences Parts 1 and 2 from Pathfinder Publications 